Well, hey everybody, uh, this is Dr. Bulo with Revive Upper Cervical, and we've recently had a lot of questions about proper sleeping habits as well as proper pillows to use. It's a, a fair question, you know, and so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you should be sleeping, why, and what sort of pillows would be helpful. Uh, and if you have any questions, this is a live video at the time of its recording, so if you have any questions, those of you that are watching live, please do ask and I can address them. Um, but let me first say that if you're shopping for the perfect pillow or looking for the perfect mattress because you have a chronic neck and shoulder pain or a chronic back problem, if you haven't yet looked into a high quality, very specific chiropractor, that may be the root cause of your problem. And if you've already bought, you know, 10 different pillows, buying 10 more may not fix your problem. You may need to have an evaluation by a specific chiropractor or physical therapist, things like that. Someone that actually can look at you to see how your body is actually in alignment or not. And my recommendation is to start with a very specific chiropractic. Um, if you need a recommendation, please don't hesitate to comment here. Um, otherwise, here are some tips and some things that you can consider doing um, to enhance your quality of sleep. As a general rule, uh, you want to be in a neutral position. Um, so looking at someone from the front, their spine should be straight up and down. And this is where we get into trouble when it comes to sleeping. Because typically when we sleep on our side, um, usually the pillow is too soft and so we end up doing one of these things. Um, or we kind of rotate the shoulder a little bit. And so what you want to look for if you're a side sleeper is you want to look for a pillow that is nice and thick and nice and firm. Uh, the pillows that we generally recommend are called um, Therapeutica pillows. Um, they're now they're purchased by a company called Core. The benefit to the Therapeutica pillow is, one of the benefits, is that it's relatively thick and it's relatively firm. It comes in five different sizes. Um, this size is the size that I use when I'm sleeping at home. And so this first sleeping posture and pillow is the side line. So this pillow works really well if you are a side sleeper, okay, and you have five different sizes to choose from. Um, but what I wanted to show you was what that looks like. So if I'm going to sleep on my side, I want to make it so that when I lie down, my spine, my head, is directly in line with my spine. So I'm not tucking up like this or twisted like this, I'm lying here on my side with my head directly in line with my spine. Now, by the way, when you go to stand, when you go to sit up, here's a little added bonus, if you will. You can use your elbow as an anchor point, take your other hand, push on the hand, and then just come right up like that. That'll help those of you that have maybe tight lower backs. So that's the side lying position. Now, if you're lying on your back, it's a different story because your spine is different. When you look at the spine from the front, it should be a straight line like my tie. If we're twisted in different directions, that's like a scoliotic spine, but ideally you'd be straight. And that's why when you're on your side, ideally you're held up. So again, Therapeutica is pretty good. By the way, if you don't have a Therapeutica pillow and your pillow is really thin or soft, you can fold up a pair of jeans and stick it underneath that pillow to give it some height or maybe even some bed sheets, some spare bed sheets, stick that under your pillow, give you some height. You want a pillow that's about as high off of your bed as the, as the width of your shoulder right here. That space has to be made up with something, right? So that's side sleeping. Let's talk about back sleeping. By the way, we're not going to talk about front sleeping because you shouldn't be doing it. Imagine walking around all day like this. You'd probably hurt your neck, right? So we're not even going to talk about front sleeping, stomach sleeping, just don't do it. Now, let's talk about back sleeping. So remember, from the front, straight line. If you were to look at someone's spine from the side, like this, and I believe we've done a video on the neck and the curve in the neck. If you look up hashtag revive neck pain, I think you'll find a video there. But from the side, your neck should actually have a C-shaped curve, a reversed capital C from this side here, like that. If you think of the neck a lot like a banana, it has a curve to it, and then as you rotate it, it's actually straight, but if you keep rotating around, it actually has 
a kind of a concavity in it. And that's called the lordotic curve of the neck. So when you lie on your back, you need like a speed bump in a parking lot. You need something to support your neck from behind. Now you have a few options with pillows when it comes to back sleeping. Uh, probably the most cost effective is something called the dog bone pillow. They make these, you can find them on, um, <clears throat> I think on Amazon has these. We, have, we carry all these pillows in the office. But this pillow is kind of nice and inexpensive. It's just filled with a cotton. It can go behind your neck and you can lie on your back. It's really good for probably 20 minute sessions at a time. Overnight sometimes though, this speed bump, if you look at it, is a bit, it's a bit aggressive or it can be a bit aggressive and can sometimes put in a little too much pressure. Um, and then over the years, actually, the reverse happens. The cotton breaks down and it can be not as supportive. But it's a great option. It's a great inexpensive option. And the one reason I like this pillow a lot is it can double as a lumbar support. You can actually put it in your car or in an office chair and it can kind of support your lower back. So dog bone pillow for lordotic curve when you're lying on your back is an inexpensive, pretty easy option for most folks. Now, if you have a bit of degeneration or bulging discs or a lot of tension in that neck, you can't have a very aggressive speed bump. You need something that's a little bit more gentle on your spine. And this is what we got recently. This is called the, um, oh gosh, a yeah, Cervipedic pillow, it's called Cervipedic. And it's a company that was manufactured by an upper cervical chiropractic patient, uh, her husband actually. And um, I really like this pillow a lot. And the reason I like it, now it's not designed for overnight, but some people do use it for overnight. But it's really designed for travel and for those 20 minute sessions on your back when you're decompressing your neck for whatever reason. Um, this one is also a nice option because it's adjustable. And let me just show it to you. It has a very thin profile. So when I put it behind my neck to support my neck, it, it does not push my head forward the way that the dog bone pillow sometimes will push my head forward. The Cervopedic, because it's very thin, provides a really nice support. And I'll see if I can show it to you here. If I put this down, the Cervopedic pillow there, if I go and lie on it, my head is pretty much touching the bed. And so it really doesn't push me forward it just provides a nice and comfortable amount of support for my neck. The other thing I like about the Cervopedic is it has this pump in the side where you can add some pressure or take away some pressure underneath of your neck. I kind of joke it's like the pumps in your shoes, you know, those Nike pumps. And so it, it really is a nice option. Um, let's see, Jenny's watching. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, it is nice and we do carry them in the office. Um, I really got them for our relaxation room back here because we had some patients that the dog bone pillow was just causing some numbness in the hands, it was too aggressive, or this was just a little bit of a nicer touch. So, Cervopedic, um, a bit more gentle, you can customize it, um, and it's just an overall nicer option. A um, little bit higher on the price tag, the dog bone pillows are about 20 bucks. The Cervopedic ones are typically going to run you around 70, give or take a little bit. Um, now the last one, the last one for back sleeping, sleeping goes back to the Therapeuticas that I just showed you for side sleeping. The Therapeuticas, remember now, are really good on the side because they made up the difference between your uh, ear and the bed. But what was really great about the Therapeuticas is that they also have this little ramp down here. And this little ramp down here is a lot like the ramp on the Cervopedic pillow. See that? That little ramp extends down to the base of your neck in between your shoulder blades and makes it more of an easy contoured speed bump for your back, um, for your neck, excuse me. So the Cervopedics are, I think, the best option for travel and decompressing 20 minutes and if you're a back sleeper you can use this for the back. It's a little bit more firm but you can. The Therapeuticas though are really great because you can lie on your side and it will support you but then you can also 
roll over onto your back and have that same gentle support that the Cervipedic offers. So the Therapeutic is really nice because they do both. So those are the three pillows. The only pillow I didn't mention, and I just mention it now, is a, is a, um, this is a knee pillow. So if you are a back sleeper, having something underneath of the knees when you go to lie down will kind of decompress your lower back a little bit. It's not a bad idea to have that either if you're an exclusive back sleeper. If you go between side and back, I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, so in summary, um, when you're on your side, you want to be, you want your spine to be nice and straight. So you need a pillow that's nice and firm that makes up the difference and the distance between your ear and the bed. So the, for that one, the best one I know, the one that we use right now is the Therapeuticas. They have a five-year warranty and they have five different sizes, so they're really good. Um, when you roll on your back, however, there is a curve that's supposed to be in your neck. So you need like a speed bump to support your neck. And for that, the three options, dog bone pr pillow, pretty generic, pretty standard, but a great cost-effective option. The Cervipedic is by far my favorite, but it's not ideal for overnight. And so the one that we advise for overnight sleeping as being the best would be the Therapeuticas because it's really good for side sleeping and it's also very supportive for back sleeping. But again, to come full circle, I will tell you, those, these, these Therapeuticas are very firm and they're very oh, they're soft, but they're firm. They have a shelf life to them. And the deal is they're going to they're gonna push perfection. And so if you're not under very good chiropractic care or you don't have a healthy spine, then these pillows are going to push you to perfection. And if, they're, if that spine is not in proper alignment, it might actually resist that, that, that effort on, the, on part of your body. So just keep that in mind. These are all great pillows, all great to have conversations about. But if you're having chronic issues, you just want to make sure that you're under really good chiropractic care. If you have any questions about that, if you don't have a good chiropractor, or if you need some advice in finding one in your area, please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, otherwise, that's all I had to go over with you today. If you have any other questions on other topics, contact us as well. We'll be doing these videos more in the future. All right, guys. Thanks for taking the time, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.